five, four, three. Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. Yeah, this week we're going back into Vicky's 20 year memoirs of Moose Mania. Shot a Yukon moose at five feet. Don't die in the water, crud. Oh, this is a group effort. Check it out. What a, what a wild group we are. This is what it's about. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week is a little bit different. Yeah, this week we're going back into Vicky's 20 year, really it's more like 30 year memoirs of Moose Mania. Yeah, it's all about her. So basically, this is again our 20th year on the Outdoor Channel. We're gonna go back, we're gonna pull all of the footage from my favorite not moose all. hunts. Not no, no, not all of my favorite <laughs> footage, no. But my top four or five favorite moose hunts, and we're gonna put them in this week's show. It's all Lot about of, er. Lots of bull moves going on. Lots of bull. So my very first moose hunt ever was up at Cash Boy Outpost with, with Fern. Fern. Fern and Martha. Yes, and it was, we had gone up there a few times. Yep, I had shot I just, a couple bulls. Yep, and I just, I couldn't get my first moose. And then the one afternoon, Fern said, we're going to do it. We have going. Fern's calling right there. There's a cow and it sounds like she might have a bull with her already. But she's calling over there and it sounds like she's coming closer. So hopefully she is and hopefully she's got a bull and she'll bring him this way. Cool. Mm -hmm. Got in there and I'll, I still remember it. We, we were calling and we finally got an answer. Right. And he was fired up. And Fern would always make little nests. Yep. This is what he calls them. He would make like little. a little nest. Where he'd hide, where you, but he could hide, get up and walk a little bit have to be and make all his nest. calls. Yeah. Yep. So you didn't really see Fern back then, because when we were filming back then, it wasn't like multi-camera angles no. like it is nowadays. You didn't have all your little action cameras and stuff like that. The bull was working his way in, and you could actually, he just, he was grunting on yep. his trip in, and he got to 20 yards. I remember old rangefinder oh trying to gosh, figure yeah. out what, what range he was at and at 20 yards, and he, find, he went broadside and I was on him. Was it? My you arrow went right him. through him, and then I lost my mind. Let me just give you an example. If this was a broadhead, so I don't ah like I'm telling you, you talk about so. dangerous for me to be in the area. You got your bull. The first time we've aired this show, that hunt, um, actually we had quite a few people email us and complain because I was waving that broadhead around. No one was around in front of me. I no, wasn't gonna no. hurt anybody. Um, it was just my pure adrenaline. I had finally gotten my bull moose. And you know what? All kidding aside, th that's what this is about. You know, it, it's that adrenaline release. So many people release it differently. And for all these years, you've watched Vicky and she shakes, I her shake. hand goes over this. I mean, there's so many things that we, we remember of each other and, and you all remember of us. So it's just fun to go back and see some of this stuff. And well, I'll tell you what, truly a blessing. Amen. I lost it. I'm like, how many years have I tried to get a moose or an elk and I can't get these big animals? I was never gonna happen. I was gonna all like, don't get your yeah. Yeah. Yes, let's go find it. Oh, oh. Oh, is he huge? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. And put this down. I guess you couldn't ask for a better shot, huh? Oh my goodness. Look at this. My first bull moose. I've been on hunts here now. We, every year we get a moose or two, but for some reason I've never been able to kind of get rid of that monkey off my back after I missed that one. <laughs> and, ever, and now I didn't miss. And I finally got my bull and I can't believe it. I said, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs>
Oh my god. Martha. <laughs> they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good. I can't even. He's a nice one. Yeah, I, he, I, I shot him for about 20 yards and I, I think he won about 20 yards. So this was really exciting. And once again, of course, we're up here with Cash Boy Outpost and Fern Duquette and Martha Duquette, of course. And oh, I finally got a bull. Been trying for a bull, a moose or a bull elk and can never get one. And I finally got my moose and I can't believe it. Oh, and I told RJ that today, I, said, I told him, I said, I'll bring, you want mom to bring you home a moose? And he said, yeah, so. So the night was the night. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. My first Yukon moose hunt. Yes. Was crazy and insane because I up got. Up there with Russ. Yeah, Nelly, up there with yep. Russ and, yep. We were in the boat and we were traveling up river and we smelt a bull moose. Yes, you can smell moose. During the rut, they you have can a smell very them. So you figure out which way the wind's blowing and you go in that direction. And we did that. We got off the boat, Ralph, Russ, and I, and we went out and we were trying to figure out, trying to locate him and Russ was doing some calling and we actually snapped the branch. And that Whoa. bull was like, Whoa. 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 and he just started walking. So we had it in as quick as we can. And I ranged him and he was at uh, 28 yards. And I said, Russ, is it good? And he said, yes. And I went ahead and I drew back and I shot him. And I basically hit him in the heart. I yep. mean, I, I, he was pumping, but he didn't know it. So he starts nope. walking closer. And he goes from 28 to 24 to 20 to 18 to, to 15. Not away. And the whole time I'm saying, should I take another shot? He's coming towards us. He's bleeding a lot. Should I take another shot? Should I take another shot? Russ is like, yeah, at 12 yards? Yeah, then you... Take a second shot. Double lunged him. He spins and doesn't go towards the water, but runs away. I, I didn't think it passed through, but that's a heck. For 57 pounds? Huh? Yeah, demon baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, he stinks. The second day here at McMillan River Adventures, and I just shot my first Yukon moose. I took two shots on him. First one would have, would have taken care of him. It was a heart shot. He gave me the opportunity to take a second shot. Double lunged him on that one. I can't even. You guys need to come here. Come here, Joel. Come here, Russ. These guys are unbelievable. We've been here two days. We have a front coming in. We're on our way back to camp. We have to hurry up because we can't go on the river after dark. And these two guys are nuts. <laughs> But I have my first Yukon bull moose, and I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think of all the moose hunts I've gone on, probably the most memorable, exciting, oh my gosh, I might need to change my pants moose hunt was my five foot moose five hunt. Foot. So we're set up, and the bull, he's starting to go behind us, and we can't do that. The wind's gonna blow, he's gonna catch us, we didn't want it to happen, so Steve went, to go and we do signaled some to Steve to, to please just go, go further. Go and, and do some calling. But when he went, he tripped. He, he tripped. Broke a branch. And that bull was like, "What was that?" And he turned. At this moment, he is straight next to us, and he's 15 yards from us, maybe. As he came underneath those limbs, I drew my bow back, yes. and in my head, all I thought was, "Shoot and jump behind the tree." <laughs> It was an adrenaline rush like I have oh. never had. I mean, oh to have a giant, a, oh. an, a Yukon was... bull moose at five feet and shooting him. I just shot him at like five feet. <laughs> I mean, it hit him so hard. His other, his opposite leg was back, yes. so it didn't get a pass through. His opposite leg was back. I went in and he ran off and I'm surprised I could even walk after that. I just shot a Yukon moose at five feet. <laughs> Guess you can't miss that one, huh? I had my I had my pin, like just waiting for him to walk into it, and he stopped. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh. So I went over like three inches and just smashed him. I saw him bust my arrow over here. That See, he's paid the price. Break my beaming, that's what happened. We are up here at McMillan River Adventures. Again. Again. And it is the second evening of my hunt and I shot this beautiful bull and I have to tell you I filmed bull at seven yards I shot this bull at five feet it was insane I mean it was 
<laughs> like Steve made the comment earlier, if I'd have missed, I'd have been in trouble <laughs> at that point. Shout out my new Vixen bow. Bottom line, it was incredible. To have that animal that close, to have Vicky hold her composure like she did, because I know a whole lot of my buddies, they would have freaked out. You know I'm pretty else? dang proud of her. You know what else? Hmm. That was also my very first Vixen, my Hoyt Vixen bow. Oh, was it? It was. That's when it started. That was my very first Hoyt Vixen bow. Yep. That's right. Things are changing, and Hoyt's making that change with my new Vixen bow. So Vicky got a bow named after her. Yep. And they still make them. Hey, two bowls, one bow, one woman. Come on. Whatever. <laughs> Another one of my favorites that I can't believe, so here's your myth. Here I am you a go. myth buster this very moment. Yes. Moose sink. They don't float. We got proof in the pudding, and it went all the way down to the bottom of the pudding. We just wanted a bowl right where we were with a guy in a bowl this morning. I don't think it's the same bowl. He looks bigger. He was just bedded. And that afternoon, we went ahead, and we got to a point, and they said because the way the wind was blowing, we needed to be careful. Tyler was with us, and we just kind of slowly... We, walked along we, the shoreline yep, and we, we could hear him grunting. Him. Yep, we spotted him with a cow. Whoa. So we got wind in our favor, Tyler, Vicky, and I, and we came around and I mean, everything worked out. We finally got him, his attention away from her and he just came. And after that, then they'll turn and show you their body. Both ways trying to intimidate their competitor. Right, and he thinks that we're the other bull. Just hang on a second, Ty. He's at 20 yards. I just need him to come out. Well, lo and behold, she had her vixen, Hoyt Vixen, and she shot him. Last thing I remember seeing was like his nose going. Yeah. Going. I mean, it was insane. Like, done. Like, like, how does that happen? It is day seven, and my bowl just went down. I can't, Ralph. I'm sorry. Oh. We'll drag him. Don't worry. We got me and Ryan and my dad. Don't worry. Go get him. Go we'll get him. Seriously. Only with Vicky. It is. I have the most interesting things happen when I go hunting. We'll find them, Vic. Even if I have to put on a scuba suit. Yeah. Well, can't believe what actually happened last night happened. Vicky's moose sunk. Uh, it's deep. We can't find it. Tried swimming for it. So we're gathering all the tools and gadgets we got this morning, and hopefully we can go find it. Hopefully it's floating there when we get there but all we can do now is just hope. And you wanna talk about a God thing? Never have we been there that the water was like glass. Super smooth glass. No wind, no ripples, no nothing. Crystal clear. Well, we marked the bucket and Don, Ryan, Ty, Vicky, and I have come up with all kinds of gadgets to possibly make this work. I mean, you know, we're just dealing with a situation that just doesn't normally happen. And sure enough, she spots I could see his, his antlers. Tines. I could see his antlers in the water. 15 we, feet we down. We had a fish finder on the boat because we thought maybe we could find a, yep. a, a bump, some structure underneath us. Well, I can tell you right now. I'll dive in. No. Yes, we will. No, you won't dive yes, in. Yes, we will. Wait, let's try our other options first. Yes, I will, Vicky. Ralph. He's right here. Can't see his antlers. See his antlers? See his antlers? So then the fun began. 
And then we ended up going ahead and we threw the grappling hook in there and we pulled them up and then we had a fishing, fishing line fishing rod, trying yep. to pull them up. We, us guys, were like, wow, we are really strong. As we're just pulling up, we're pulling up a bull, a full a bull full moose. moose. It and was there, nothing. The legs, the hoof, and nothing. the legs coming up. Until. Yeah, no, let's stop. The buoyancy is gone. Once, <laughs> once he hit gone. that surface. Got a I got a knife. Vic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's your bull, honey. We did it. We found my bull. Now, the fun has stopped, though, because now we have to quarter them up and get all this meat out of here. The boat and the planes can come pick it up. And I don't know. I mean, this was this is my the past two years. I have not gotten a bull up here. So this was my yeah. and last night, I can tell you last night, I thought it's not going to happen. Cause how, we don't know how deep the water was or anything, but all I know is thank you, McMillan River Adventures. Thank you, big guy upstairs, for watching over us and us find him this morning. And Tyler, thank you, buddy. Oh, you're very thank welcome. You. Appreciate it. OK, knives. <laughs> the bottom line, probably some of the best eaten bull moose we ever had. Because that body temperature. It was chilled. Cooled off, perfectly chilled. I mean, it was awesome. When we first got to the shoreline on this bull, the weather was horrible, and he was back in a, in a cove, in a bay, and Ooh. he really didn't want anything to do with no. us. And I don't we even just think he could hear the calls. That's Probably what it, not. Yeah. I think he finally just saw the paddle, I think is what ended up happening. And finally, we got him to turn, and he went back up into the, onto the shoreline and into the timber, into the brush. I shouldn't call it timber. And as he did that, we just kept keeping our wind to our favor and getting up and up on him. Yep. And I mean, you wouldn't think a moose that size could hide in some of the, just the shrubs that are there. But there was a couple times I thought we almost lost him. Mm -hmm. I've got no shot. Whoa. shot him and he ran and he went down. He's going, his back end's going down. His back end's oh, going yeah. down. Oh, 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 my arrow, I think my arrow went through it. I think my arrow went right through him. My light had not went in and through him. My arrow went through him, I think. I don't care. <laughs> this is a group effort. Check it out. What, it, what a wild McMillan group McMillan River Adventures. This is what it's about. This is why we come to McMillan oh, River. Oh my God. Because of He's this. Big. Oh <laughs> my gosh, Ty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and it did exit. My my beaman went right through him. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Look at how wide he is, Ralphie. And this points. Day seven up here at McMillan River Adventures. Never give up, right? Yeah, day seven of hard hunting. Of too. hard hunting. And we even had two really cold mornings and frost everywhere. We've seen lots of little bulls, lots of cows. And this morning we're out looking, 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 and look at this thing. Super wide, probably my widest bull ever. He is beautiful. I mean, we had to play that wind so hard. But we did it. We got to 30 yards, and man, I, I, <laughs> it was awesome. Then we watched him run, and he just stopped, and that was it. It was over, and we knew it was down. And well, we got a lot of work to do, huh? Let's get busy. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. You know something that we, we like you mentioned, and that is you know sharing it with everybody. We want to thank you all for allowing us to share all these adventures with you for 20 plus years. I mean, it's been. It's been a wild ride, and we hope to share with you for many more. Now that was fun. Unbelievable. I, you know, like we said, there was a lot of bull in here, and there sure was. I mean, it was just moose mania at its best. 
And the thing is, is that we've been so blessed to be able to travel around and yes. to witness these big critters and hunt and film them and everything like that, that we're so excited to be able to share it again with you guys. I mean, 20 years on the Outdoor Channel is a pretty big deal. It is. It is. So we want to thank you guys for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.